Hello everybody, my name is Ben Rowlett, and let's start this conversation up with Amanda and Constance. Yep. Oh, Akka, where are you going so early? She's got that, she, she just has the most dead stare. I'm off to the library. Again. You going to the library? If there's a joke in there, I missed it. Not this again. Enough is enough. Hey, don't need to get upset. Was it something I said? Hmm, hmm, hmm. Hmm. You really don't remember? Remember what? What's going on? Well, to the library anyways. We're gonna get... Then we meet Diana. Now I'm really getting worried. Akko, at this hour? You're up rather early. I thought you'd be asleep until noon again. You too, Diana? I don't get it. Akko? Did something happen? No, it's nothing. I was just thinking about something. Hmm. Hmm, let me just put my ponder face on. Hmm. <laughs> Professor Ursula? No, oh, Akko, just who I was looking for. Sorry, Professor, I'm in a hurry. Akko? Well, now I didn't get to use my mending magic. Oh, Akko, how could you? Thought so. The books are back. I had a feeling they would be. What the heck is going on here? Okay. So after about two and a half hours, they come. They talk. Okay, this is really weird. It's like everyone but us is repeating the same day over and over again. And it isn't just the people. My mushrooms have shrunk too. Could time be rewinding itself? What do you mean? It's like when today ends, instead of becoming tomorrow, today just starts all over again. And that's why the books we sorted out yesterday all went back to how they were. And Amanda didn't remember what we talked about, but wait. Yeah, why do we remember? Isn't it obvious? The books are back the way they were, but that door is still open. It might have something to do with that room behind the hidden door. Examine the secret room again. Alright. It doesn't have a name. It's just question mark, question mark, question mark. Now I'm getting a headache. Oh, there's a magic sigil here. What have you got there, Lote? I think this is a crystal ball. Like, that thing you're always glued to? That lets me browse the internet and send messages via magic, but this is something much older. It's like the crystal balls that witches use for fortune telling. This might actually have a spirit inside it. Could you try communicating with it? You might be able to do it yourself you, if you use this. A potion? I got it as, as a sample. I don't need it, so why don't you give it a try? Okay, let's see how it goes. Fuck. Okay, let's try this. <laughs> nice job, Akko. Did it work? I don't understand what the spirit is saying. I guess the potion doesn't cover that. Too bad. The spirit seems to be thanking you anyway. It says it will it'll commit everything you've done to memory whenever you look at the crystal ball. Huh, I still don't really get it. Maybe you'll start to understand the spirit if you keep checking in every now and then. I guess it's worth a shot. I think there are more of these crystal balls around Luna Nova, so keep trying to communicate with the spirits. I don't remember seeing any. There's one in our room. I'll show you later. Talk to Lote. So what is this place? It just... It can't just be some kind of giant closet. I don't think closets and dungeons usually mix. You think they hit this place because of that door? Where the fuck is Sissy? Oh, there she is. Maybe this all started because you broke this clock. It wasn't me! That clock wasn't moving in the first place. I didn't break it. But you touched it, didn't you? I don't know. Maybe? Either way, the flow of time has gotten strange. The flow of time? I feel like I've heard that somewhere before. Hmm. Watch out, Akko. You could get sent off to some strange place again. What could this room have been used for? 
Okay, now I'm confused. Did you hear that? Someone's coming. Oh shit. Is that Amanda? Minako said she was going to the library. I just had to see for myself. Who knew the library led to some place like this? Weren't you going to Blight Blightonbury? Oh, change of plans. How'd you know about that, though? Ah, jeez, why is everything getting so complicated? How could you keep this place a secret from us? Not cool. Okay, but you have to swear not to tell anybody else, especially not the professors. Okay, already, my lips are sealed. What's this? Doing Diana? Now we're done for. You're the last person I wanted to find out. This is all your fault, Amanda. Hold on, you think I'd tell Diana anything? My, how rude. Akko was acting even more sus- My, how rude. Akko was acting even more suspicious than usual, so I just came to check up on her. So it's your fault, Akko. Ugh. But Akko, weren't you supposed to be sorting the books in the library? Right, about that. Not only were you shrinking, shirking your duties, but this place? I can't wait to hear your excuse for this. Depending on your answer, I may have to inform Professor Finnelin. Wait, anything with that, I can explain. Okay, and it takes about an hour to explain, really. Blah, mm. blah, you know the rest. Whoa, a dungeon. That sounds cool. The flow of time. Could this really be the horologium chamber? That's it. The horolo horologium chamber. What is that? There in can be found a clock that controls time in a mysterious door. The clock spins in reverse. The door leads to myriad different places, and the treasure beyond remains a mystery. It's a super rare beta chariot card. Wow, you have that card? No, I just saw it in a collector's book. Oh my god, I'm to talk to every fucking one. I'm gonna talk to you first. So when we, when are we going to check out this dungeon? Aren't you worried, Amanda? Worried about what? It isn't normal for time to wheel up Ryan like this. Well, at least we won't be bored. I'm ready to head into a dungeon right now, in fact. So when... I'm still not sure I entirely believe your story. It's all true, I swear. We'll find out tomorrow. But if this really is the horologi horologium chamber, what if this is the horologium? Why would it be hidden here in the library? Maybe it's just a coincidence? As expected, your answer leaves much to be desired. Oh, Nani? Maybe we shouldn't have gotten them involved. It's not like I asked the man and the others to come. I don't know about this. They maybe not remember it tomorrow anyway. Things are getting interesting now. I thought something interesting might happen if I stuck with you, but I had no idea we'd get sucked into something like this on the first day of vacation. You make it sound like it's my fault. Well, it is, isn't it? No, it's not, probably. Want one? It's nice and crispy. Potato chips. I didn't break it, okay? Well, that went fast. What did they do all day? Do you think a man and the others will remember what happened a day like us? Who knows? We'll find out soon enough. I had no idea something this fascinating was going on. If time is rewinding, does that mean we can eat all we want? Well, if this is the horologium chamber, I don't think it means that necessarily, but I guess you could eat all you want if time was rewinding and have no consequences. Yeah, no, 
Time really turned back, more than likely. And yeah, I still have no way to save. You didn't believe me? No one would believe something as crazy as that. But you do now. Well, once you see it for yourself. We'll come to the library in a bit. How strange. It's like a donut. Can't talk for Professor Ursula, I'm in a hurry. Aka, wait, where are you going? I didn't even talk to Diana today. Unless Diana's already at the... Libraria. Oh, she is. Hello, Diana. You're late. It was just like I said, right? Yes, you were correct. It seems that the first day of summer vacation is repeating itself. Told ya. What do you plan on doing about it? Huh? You weren't planning on spending the rest of your life repeating the first day of summer vacation, were you? I hadn't thought that far yet. Perhaps I should go and tell the professors. No, don't. Please don't tell them. You know, I think I've figured out a few things about the hor horologium chamber. What? Nani, nani? Calm down. I will explain once everyone is here. To the horologium chamber. Oh my god. I have some information about the Horologium Chamber that I'd like to share with everyone. First of all, a summary of what we already know. Given recent circumstances, I believe we can all agree that the Horologium Chamber can control the flow of time. Further, I think we can say that this was set in motion when Akko and her friends broke the magic seal on the chamber. How can you be sure of that? I examined the hidden door in the library. The spell cast on it was a very old one, but there's no doubt it was sealed by magic. I'm sure the witch who bound the door never expected that someone would come along and break the seal without a second thought. Grr. Who expects something like this to happen in the first place? Be that as it may, the solution to this conundrum must likely, most likely involves the door in the horologium hor chamber. Oh, because the chariot card said that the treasure lies beyond the door. I don't know about any treasure, but it seems that the door leads to a different place depending on the magic key used to unlock it. But there was only one magic key. About that. Take a look at this. Where did you get that? I found it in the dormitory this morning. I checked, and it's different than the keys to the dormitory and the classrooms. Then maybe if you use it on this door. Yes, it may lead somewhere different than the key you found in the chest. Perhaps it will even lead us to some clue as to how to repair the flow of time. Right, so what are we waiting for? Let's go! Lesser Key of Can Canopus. Level 1. Just a moment. Don't tell me you're gonna say to stay back because it's too dangerous or something. Part of the magic sigil is broken. <clears throat> there. All better. What did you do? I fixed the magic sigil. Now up to three people should be able to teleport at once. What if more than three people go in? I wouldn't try. If I were you, you might never make it back. It was just luck that you teleported there and back in one piece. We don't have to do this if you're scared. Ha, you've gotta be joking. You're the one who's scared. Admit it. Well, we will never know unless we try. I'm curious to see whether the magic sigil will function properly anyway. Why don't you try stepping through? You can decide who stays and who goes. Of course, picking me would be the safest choice. You can now press the options button to op open the menu, where you can check character stats and equipment and assign spells. Can I also save? Options. Hmm. Oh, hey. All the way down there. Stats, I guess.
guess each character has their own stats, which can be improved by allocating points received when leveling up. Points to assign for... go to the next character each character has their own set of equipment aha Lote let's see points to assign oh my god Lote is so weak with health but she is very smart I guess I'll level up her health her luck is pretty good already Um, yeah, that, that looks good. So, let's see, let's see. You've got a decent health. Um, you got a pretty good strength. Surprised. Uh, probably, I think I'll put them all in, put most of them, uh, yeah, that looks good. I think I'm gonna go with Amanda and Diana. Anna has good, yeah. Okay. Events. Okay. How do I? Change characters. Okay, well, I'm having trouble figuring out how to fucking change characters. Oh, okay, magic. Wind arrow, stone needle. clicked opening it with I <laughs> you know I, I kind of saw that one coming but anyways I think I think I'll leave it off here and I will see you guys later bye wait what's this do oh thank god Oh my god, I found out a save. Okay, I will see you guys later. Goodbye!